Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's Kay here on this really awful awful day. We've got weather in the UK. Thunder, lightning, torrential rain. It really is quite something. So if you hear a dull droning in the background, it's the it's the rain humming down. I've got a an unprecedented paddling pool um, in my back garden which is rather joyous because you know it wasn't something we planned so even the dogs are wondering what on earth is going on but back to business so here I am today to advertise on behalf of Artie Mays a wonderful um, crafty party that she's hosting for members of her group so if you were thinking oh I don't know if I want to join another group it's all going to be the same kind of thing and that kind of thing wrong I can say that categorically um, what Artie Mays is doing is giving free papers this is a sample in front of me now and all that you're asked to do using these papers is to make project projects depending on you know what you feel you'd like to do using the papers that Andrea provides free to the members and the papers are awesome this is the one of the main ones this is printed out on a four copier paper um, and it's a collage as you can see then there's a second page to this which has got colour in it the butterflies are pink the roses are a deep pinky red colour and it really is stunning I've used up a lot of it but you'll see in the project that I've put together how I've used what Artie Mays has shared and then there's another sheet with a glorious amount of these beautifully pink, pink butterflies. And to complement the butterflies are these clusters of roses. And they are different sizes, as are the uh, butterflies. But oh my word, look at the detail there. I fussy cut around them very, very loosely um, just to suit the purpose of, of the project that I've put together. And I have to say at this point, it's not a new thing. I have been very much inspired by Lollipalooza and then put my own slant using these papers and um, the envelopes that I had available to make the project. And it is made up using four envelopes so that is it in total the rest of all the decoration is down to utilizing these glorious digital papers from Artie Mays I will leave links below the video so that you can see uh, the papers up close or if this is a decider for you joining the group then you know what better time than to have some absolutely fabulous freebies again from Andrea to work with so what I've put together is this um, what is called or what Lollipalooza called a envelope card and what I've done is used I think there are five by five I'll just check and make sure yeah five by five envelopes loosely speaking and then you decorate I've not decorated the back because if one wanted to um, glue it onto a journal page or something like that then you would want that to be fairly blank there to allow that to happen without spoiling anything so I have used Artie Mays freebie 1621 to do a solid reminder of where the papers came from now if you decorated the back clearly it could be a freestanding something you could put a verse inside send it to someone for their birthday you know it's it's as limitless as the day is long so I'll open this up so you can see exactly what I've done I've used this pink ribbon purely and simply because it fits in 
very very well with the colour of the butterflies and then in the first instance you open it up I think I need to widen a moment and then it opens up again and then it opens up again and then it opens up again so it really it really is absolutely wonderful I think I've got it upside down absolutely wonderful for this kind of project and displaying these simply gorgeous gorgeous papers that Andrea has given freely to members of her group now to decorate I have um, used distress inks I've used the glitter uh, oh my word stickles glitter that I always always use and I, I just I'm so pleased with how it's all come together so in the side pockets here I've just got some ordinary little tags you could journal on the back if you wanted to add a photograph it would be entirely up to you if you were a gardener you might want to state what you've done in the in the garden if you've got a rose garden or something of that nature it is a significant pocket all I've done is cut about the envelope so that the pocket is all integral to the overall make of the um, of the project base and then this is the coloured background paper here that I've cut up little finger pull here these are the monochrome papers but they complement them each other very well on these I've just fussy cut that rose I spoke about and applied it but it just it looks so much more because of the depth and colour and the the feature of the papers that Artie Mays has created digitally so I personally am very very pleased with how this has come out the centre here is where if you wanted to turn it into a card you would put your verse instead again I've just stickled the roses um, here and there just to, to make it a bit more feminine and a little bit more pretty not that anything else is needed the papers themselves are pure delight in this little pocket I've got another two of the tags I only made five altogether odd number I know but it works you know and that again is another part of the coloured sheet that comes alongside the monochrome they are absolutely identical but taking away the colours certainly gives them a whole new look and by the time you've then added your distress ink to them they are really quite glorious then in the top and bottom I've made some faux stamps to make it easier to see how I've dealt with the papers what I've actually done is layered the four pockets of the envelopes in the monochrome the centre is monochrome but the areas above the pockets are the uh, coloured version of the same sheet now I've got the dogs coming in so excuse the scrabbling then as I say I've made these faux stamps and again it's the monochrome bit because that's the bit I love best and I've just put them together quite willy-nilly just to pick out features of the papers that lent themselves from the collage bit that lent themselves to this particular look so there are two of the large and then three of the smaller stamps and they just fit into that little pocket there really really nicely and show off their best as one would hope and then in the other pocket it is exactly the same if I turn it around this way only this time it's the butterfly 
its roses again the monochrome rose which it lends itself to this stamp faux stamp thing so nicely and then another little um, larger stamp there from larger images but it needs so little to make the most of it Andrea does the most amazing digital work I absolutely cannot praise the lady enough I've bought from several people as those who follow me will know but consistently even if I weren't to be a design team member I would go back to Andrea's papers purely because of the quality that she manages to produce in her digital work I don't know you know how long it takes her I would imagine it's quite a timely thing to do and then for her to hand them over to the group to utilize is just beyond generous in my book but there we are so I hope you've enjoyed seeing this I will turn it over whoops so that you can see the back side bearing in mind there is that blank area whoops a daisy if I turn it around that way you'll see so I have decorated the V of the flap on both sides this then is the front cover that had the ribbon wrapped around it and then these two pages here just fold in to give the overall finished look of the envelope card so if I do that for you whilst we've got it all out here so if you bring up the bottom and then you bring up the opposite one fold over from the side fold over from the side again you invariably end up with what is your front pocket on the front of the card so I hope you've enjoyed seeing this if it's inspired you to join the group do remember there are a couple of easy questions that need to be dealt with prior to you um, being accepted into the group Andrea does have people monitoring the group to keep it a happy place and repeatedly points out her terms and conditions of use of her digital kits if you decide it's something for you please do remember it is not an arena for advertising other people's digital work it is very much about Artie Mays her work and what her group members do with her work that is really quite important because some people do think they can just um, advertise something that they've made even though perhaps it's not with the majority of her papers and and that is not what the group is all about so I'll leave these lovely images with you and wish you all well stay safe bye bye for now happy crafting